Welcome to another edition of Start It Up. It is Tuesday afternoon and we have Chef John Fulsh, Janabia. We are outside at White Oak Estate and Garden right here in beautiful Baton Rouge. Beautiful, now, beautiful. Now, I Baton. always thought of caviar as the little raw stuff, the, but I like, don't see like any- Like fish eggs. Yeah, fish eggs. Yeah, not, not raw stuff, John, no, fish well, eggs. fish eggs are raw. Well, yeah. But Creole caviar, now that, that there was caviar in the Mississippi River from the, from the large uh, uh, catfish uh, we could get the sack of eggs out of the, the catfish and uh, and process those into a sort of caviar. But when we talk about the classic uh, caviar in Louisiana, the black caviar is different from the Creole caviar, again, coming out of the freshwater fish of the Mississippi. And we're doing so, Creole but, caviar but, today, right? Well, what we're going to actually do is a mock-up of that caviar using mm -hmm. everything but fish eggs. So what are we doing, Jana? We're going to add, we're going to start with some black-eyed peas. Yeah. So we're basically, it's National Picnic Month, all right? So we're doing like a fun salad here, and we're using some different types of ingredients, such as hominy. All right. Purple onions, little a little tomato. Purple. And it's colorful, y'all. It's it, very colorful. You know, you eat with your eyes first. So you always want to have beauty in the in, in the bowl, so that people say, "Wow, I got to taste that. I have to taste that." And you we're know? using a combination of the hominies. We're using white as well as yellow. Um, okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. Like We've that. got some poblano look, look how pepper. Colorful that is, huh? It's beautiful. Very. Huh? So it's kind of like cowboy caviar, right? That's something that they make with corn and yeah, yeah. black-eyed peas. Yeah, this is something that you can tell. I mean, you can tell how delicious this is going to be. You know, an old chef friend of mine told me one day about how important chefs were because we, all, we some of the only people who can go up to a stranger with something in your hand and say, open your mouth, I'm going to stick something in it. Only you and a doctor can do that. So you see chefs come a, come a little bit ahead. Look at the beauty. That's why. Look we how beautiful it is. we got lime juice that we're adding here, some honey and sriracha. Okay. Yeah, look, how mm -hmm. look how pretty that is. Right? My goodness now, gracious. Any doubt that this is going to be good? No doubt. Absolutely All not. of that good. But I wouldn't look at that bowl and think caviar, I'll tell you right now. Well, no, there's a Creole caviar. I mean, right, you got to remember, we're on the Mississippi River. We're making it up. <laughs> <laughs> we're making it up as we go. We're on the river. We're in sugarcane country. Cajuns, Creoles. Cajuns. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll say anything. Uh, oh, my know. gosh. How many grids? Come on over here, girl. Give me caviar and get some <laughs> black eyed peas. Don't listen to him. We'll be right back. Oh, we're having fun. All right, y'all, we said it's National Caviar Day, but, not, but it's also Picnic Month. And, of course, uh, we're talking about Creole caviar, which is just this beautiful uh, just mixture of all these gorgeous uh, vegetables. Summer vegetables, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, uh, uh, caviar is high up on the hog, but so is this dish. Absolutely beautiful. Huh? Verde chili and dogs coming up on Thursday. Don't miss it. See you then.